Lesson 2, Advanced Integration Techniques, Sum and Difference of Two Squares. Example 1, find the integral of 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 5 dx. Now in this case, what we're going to do is complete the square. Okay, so this becomes integral of 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 1. Back at the same as this one up here. Of course, that's going to be equal to the integral of 1 over. Now, I'll put that 1 at the front. So that's 1 plus, that's x plus 2 all squared dx. Now, you could use a substitution, but it's not really necessary. That's just the inverse tan function. So that's going to be tan to the minus 1 of x plus 2 plus a constant. Right, in number 2, we have to evaluate the integral between 2 and 1, <coughs> excuse me, of 1 over the square root of 3 plus 2x minus x squared. Now, this becomes 1 over, now just re re rearrange this a little bit, it's going to be 3 minus bracket x squared minus 2x dx. So this becomes 2 to 1, 1 over square root of, this will be 3 minus, now I'm going to complete the square in here, so it'll be x squared minus 2x plus 1, but this will be a, a minus 1, so I'll need to add 1 outside make it the same as the one before. dx. So this now becomes 2, 1, 1 over the square root of, and this is 4 minus x minus 1 all squared dx. Now I could actually, um, you know, do a do a uh, sort of like a manipulation here, but we don't really need to do that because that now is becoming one one over square root of now this is two squared minus x minus one all squared dx. And that's your inverse sine function. So that's going to be equal to the inverse sine of x minus 1 over 2, and that's between 2 and 1, so that's the inverse sine of putting 2 in there, it's going to be inverse sine of a half minus the inverse sine of 0, and inverse sine of a half is pi over 6. And that's inverse sign of zero is zero. So the answer is just pi upon six.